of people who are standing up against Islamophobia and Muslim hatred. Slicing of the throat of people who are standing up against bigotry. I'll take the side. I'll get money here. That sounds like terrorism to me. That sounds like a Trump-sponsored terrorism. That's right, it is. Trump and Pence are the biggest terrorists on the planet, promoting and unleashing and whipping up hatred. Whipping up all these white supremacists and neo-Nazis and KKK who are getting organized and going around slicing the throats of people who are standing up against bigotry and hatred. We cannot allow that. We cannot allow that to get consolidated the slope of history. 1933, Nazi Germany and Hitler coming to power. That is exactly what just happened with Trump. I'll just take a picture. Got it. The shirt. I'm taking a picture of that. Take our poster and join us in saying no to hatred, no to bigotry. You know, something just comes to mind here. I wonder how much tourism the city's actually having right now. I wonder how much tourism they're actually having. Who's going to visit from other countries when this is what's going on? Hi. You can't even see me, man. But that's okay. If you don't want to see me, that's fine. That's fine. We're not trying, we're doing it. We're here now. This is doing. Well, do you have the guts to go to uh, a big Trump protest? Would you go to a Trump rally yourself, even if to protest? It's not really guts, I just want to have a fun time. Doesn't matter whether I have a fun time or not. Like women. This is good. I like this. I like being able to speak for the truth. Do you, you support LGBT rights? Of course I do. Why? Because I'm gay. Is this something that happened when you were younger that you figured it out, or what? I was late in my first but... You were late, okay. Late in life? Like a late in life? Okay. You do realize that people who engage in same-sex behavior, they're cutting their lifespan short, 20%. You know that, right? I'm not threatening you, it's the truth. It's a, it's venereal disease, it's the emotional trauma that comes with it. I have a lot of friends who identified as gay and they're dead. So, I'm saying that you're risking your life. Thank That's a fact. God. You don't care? That doesn't Not bother really. you? I mean, I'm suicidal, so... You are suicidal? A little bit. Okay. Okay, I really appreciate that you're willing to talk to me, but that's the thing. No one should ever feel suicidal. You were called to have a good life. I don't. Choose life. Choose life. You know, you had the courage to come up to me, which I appreciate, even if you don't agree with me. Why were you suicidal at a young age, or what? Well, this is not that suicidal. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but what you're talking about, that's a pathology that affects a lot of people who identify. Matthew, I want you to think about that. That's what I'm talking about. A lot of people who identify as LGBT, there's deeper issues. I don't believe in shaming anybody. I don't. Look, you've got Muslims, you have radical Islamic terrorists who throw gays off of buildings and hang them from cranes. I don't want that. But I'm not interested anymore in being bullied into silence. You do that yourself? I could. So, well, thanks for your time. Many of these people.